Okay, so let's look at um, the number one reaction to stop the flower sweep, or in this case, the squid guard um, flower sweep. So say he says on his knees, yeah, and maybe I got the lapel out and I got into my squid guard position when I'm worried about the setups. I've underhooked his leg, got back in. Again, we talked about how we can snag the sleeve. We looked about how we can close down his way of stopping the floor sweep by not putting our foot on the mat, but actually putting our foot on his hip, which stops him coming into combat base. And then I lift my hip up and my knee is to the outside of his shoulder, which will stop him getting his arm to the outside. But of course, Shay has a free hand, very much like um, if Shay was mounted on me, he's good mount for him. You know, Jiu Jitsu is all about concepts. Say he puts one hand into the collar, pretend you know Jiu Jitsu, he's going for the cross stroke, and I tie up the arm and I tie up the foot, and I'm going for the upper, the bridge to skate. His hand will stop it there. Of course, we can count on that because we know the upper escape's all about angle. I actually look over my shoulder so I don't sweep him to 2 o'clock, I sweep him to 12 o'clock. And I'm on top. Same concepts, only just staying on top from the floor, sweep with that same grip. So, again, from here, I underhook, I get into squid on his knees, I find his sleeve, foot on the hip, lift my hips. And now from there, as I initiate the floor sweep, Shea can actually post with his hand on the mat. Again, because I pulled um, Shea's left hand to my body, my past my hip, I'm really curling with my foot. All I have to do is take my foot off his hip, bring it over his head, and now I have the juji from there. Okay, I don't even need to bring him over till this position. I'll finish it halfway through the sweep. Let's look at that again, just from there, bro. So, I broke him down to close guard. We're in that baseball bat position. I wait until he postured and then I underhooked the leg, made my squid guard grip, came back to face him, back in close guard, find the sleeve, foot on the hip, not the floor. Hips engaged. Need to the uh, outside, or outside, keeping his arm on the inside. The minute I kick across and he posts, I'm pulling this to my hip and my right foot's really driving to keep him down. From there, my left leg just comes off the hip over his head. And now I have the arm bar. Take it back a step. Now, good players can stop that. If Sheikh can use his left hand to smear my leg before it goes over his head, there is no arm bar. Let's take a look at that. So I made my, my grip, foot comes up, engage my hips. I start to work the floor sweep him here. I start to work the arm bar. He takes his hand off the mat and stops my leg. Now I can't get the arm bar, but watch. I put my foot back in the hip and I just initiate the sweep again. He can't stop both. Let's look at that again. If he stops the arm bar, I have the sweep, or vice versa. So again, I break him down, we open up the lapel, I wait until he postures up, I underhook, we get into our squid guard set, separate bit on that, snag the sleeve, foot comes in the hip, engage my hips, and now from here, as I go for the floor sweep, he posts. All right. I'm going for the arm bar, but now he uses his free hand to stop my leg from coming over. I just put the foot back in the hip and just take him. And we have the floor sweep again. So, he can stop one, but he can't stop both.